Business Watch brought to you by End Cash. Scan Pay Done. Clary Ben has returned as chairman of the National Entrepreneurship Development Company Limited. Mr. Ben was presented with his letter of appointment on Wednesday by Minister of Youth Development, Foster Cummings. At the event, Minister Cummings says over the next two years, he expects NEDCO to be the leader of the small business sector and thereby contribute to wealth creation and national development. 10 to 1 Rum has received many awards on the international market since its launch in 2019. And now the brand is hoping to establish itself locally. CEO Mark Farrell spoke with Business Watch on Wednesday about his plans. Yeah, number one is when you think about sort of what the, the, the original ambition of 10 to 1 is and was, uh, it's this idea of taking some of what we are proud of here at home, right, and putting it on a global stage. So the brand was launched in, in, in New York. It's available in multiple markets around the U.S. We're looking at some other markets as well. Um, but home is home. Mr. Farrell says he was hoping to roll out his rum in TNT a couple of years ago. However, this was hampered by COVID. Now, as the world and small businesses continue to recover, Mr. Farrell's objectives have been brought to fruition. We were actually hoping to get 10 to 1 rolling even back then, but obviously it wasn't possible for those first few years. And so now as the world is opening up a little bit again, I've been really excited to come back home and spend a bit of time, you know, hosting some events, meeting with some folks, um, you know, building out the distribution for the brand. And hopefully we'll be able to cultivate that same level of appreciation and excitement around 10 to 1 here in Trinidad. Prior to launching his rum, Mr. Farrell held a number of roles at Starbucks as the youngest vice president leading e-commerce. In other business news, rating agency Carrie Chris is reaffirming good credit ratings for the Point Leases Industrial Port Development Corporation Limited. It explains that this is based on its expectations that Plip Deco will continue to display good financial performance over the next 12 to 15 months. Geisha Kaulas Alonso, CNC3, Business Watch. Business Watch, brought to you by End Cash. Scan, pay, done.